hello everyone bug whisperer here and if you don't know what i'm doing in this youtube series i'm basically taking a web development project a real life project and then i'm planning it out i'm implementing each of the functionalities and at the end of this series i'm going to deploy this project so let's get started with today's video so in our last video we created this header with some navigation items and I tidied up a few more things as you can see we have created this common layout and I used app shell maintain app shell so yeah however this navigation bar is not responsive so if we reduce the width this doesn't look good so I'm going to change that what I'm what I try like what I'm trying to do is whenever the window width is small I'll have a burger menu here and when I'm clicking in on this burger menu a sidebar will pop up and these links will be there so yeah let's start so before that I'm going to remove this part because I don't really love inlining inline styling so yeah but if i remove this our header is not going to be good it's gonna be shrinked so for that i'm going to make a like styled components file and that will be common layout dot styles dot tsx so all the styled components that i'll use inside our common layout will be here so the first style component should be about app shell and I always name the style components with styled prefix. So I will say styled app shell. So constant, I will also export this. So export constant and then styled app shell we have to import app shell and then we also have to import styled from styled components and then then we have to access the header and in our app shell in our app shell component we could use header uh, prop and then inside that we can configure that but how are you going to do this inside our css file this is very simple if we go to our app shell maintain uh, in in our maintain documentation and we go to styles api we will get a static selector a css selector for header and we can use that so here if we set 100 pixel not 100 pixel that will be too much let's put 60 pixel and if we go back it's still not working because we are not using this styled app shell instead we are using the default app shell so let's change that and use styled app shell and since our uh, common layout styles.tsx is under the same um, folder we are not going to use this um, absolute path instead we are going to use the like re relative path and now we don't have any pesky styles hanging around here and yeah our header looks fine and you know in this way our component looks better so now inside our app shell header we have to customize this custom header right because that's what we're going to change so inside that I want a burger menu that will have by the way I will change these styles as well but not in this video so we need a burger menu and maintain provides that out of the box so we can just call burger and we can use two props here one is opened so if this value is true burger will be opened otherwise like otherwise it will be closed 
so and there is also um, yeah so there is also another thing we have to configure is on click so whenever I'm clicking on this burger menu something will happen so on click that will be for now that will be nothing and if we go here this is our burger menu I'm clicking on it nothing's happening because I didn't code anything here and open this false so it's looking like this if I make it true as you can see this becomes cross so yeah now I want to modify this I want the clicking functionality here so I will make a variable constant and instead of that we're we're going to make burger and then burger action and this will be use disclosure okay so what does this use disclosure mean well it comes from maintain hooks and what it provides us is a boolean value so the actual variable will be boolean and we'll have two actions which are open and close so we're going to leverage that so by the way uh, in one of my previous videos i told you about like this maintain hooks there are plenty of different hooks and those things make our life a lot easier so instead of this we're gonna put burger here and then here what am i gonna put is whenever i'm clicking it's either gonna be uh you know it's either gonna be open or closed but we don't know yet so we're going to make a separate function for that so burger clicked and here yeah here i'm going to check whether this burger is opened or closed so if burger so if the burger is already opened then we're going to close that so burger option dot close otherwise burger action dot open now inside our on click we're going to use this method so okay now let's see okay so it's working so when so now this burger is closed now when i'm clicking it this function is triggering and then it's checking okay this is already open then let's close it and then i get the closing animation however i don't really want this burger to be visible when i'm in like larger screen and i don't really have to manually code that out uh, as always maintain has a solution for that and as you can see this one is visible from and there is also another one which is hidden from let's put hidden from small and what it means is if we go to our post css.config.js as you can see there are maintain breakpoints xs sm md lg and excel and when i'm putting hidden from sm it basically tells us that whenever our breakpoint or like our screen width is larger than or equal to 48 em this burger will be hidden where is it yeah this burger will be hidden so now as you can see this burger is hidden but if we inspect that this is here however these items are still here i don't want that so i'm going to put here visible from sm 
so this is going to be hidden when our width is greater than or equal to sm and this one is going to be visible so now as you can see our screen si size is a screen width is less than sm so this part is hidden and this part is visible and this burger menu is working and if we make a like bigger width our burger menu is gone so yeah this this responsiveness was quite easy because of maintain and now what i want to do is i want a menu a sidebar menu and when i'm clicking on this burger menu that sidebar menu should pop up and uh, in our next video i'm going to work on that and up until that thank you so much and please subscribe and uh, if you like my content and yeah have a good day